So a lot of you may not know this, but in light of, you know, the big shooting that just went on, and just in light of the world state, the state of the world in general, I just wanted to share my own little story. But as most of you know, I got locked up for a little bit. And in that time, um, when I was about to get released, uh, I got transferred, you know, cause they would have to take me out, you know, intake or whatever the fuck. I had to get transferred to a different uh, jail. And in that section, there was something wrong with the system cause of COVID and all that. And what was supposed to be a couple hours in my transfer dorm, I ended up staying for a week because of their malfunctions in the system. So they couldn't get me out technically like I had to wait so this dorm wasn't for nobody to stay in for more than a day or so unless you were doing life because they were just gonna wait their trial out till they got transferred to prison they that's where they lived at you feel me so in this place I, I got stuck for a little bit for a week and again I had three cellies it was the smallest cell I've had nah second smallest but it was a two man, two man on each side, four man bunk. And all three of my cellies were doing and facing life for murders. And for one, it's different speaking, talking and dealing with someone emotionally that has nothing to lose for one, it changes everything. But for two, I was in there for two strikes myself. And all you need is one more to get 25 to life. So I feel like God was just showing me, you feel me? What could have been from one stupid mistake, from one small decision off of emotions, letting my emotions get the best of me. And um, I was just thinking, bro, like, I felt slightly guilty for leaving because I, I, I got somewhat close to these people. Like, you feel me? They're normal people and you're spending every hour of the day with them. And in this cell, there's no, you didn't get out. You don't go outside, there's no wreck. And when you're in the shower, a hundred niggas showering together. And all of them was doing life too. It was, it was, this, this was like a completely different side, you feel me? Of jail that I experienced. And it was in my last week. And I feel like, you know, since I got shown that, I had to share that one of the people I talked to was some young kid, bro. He was like 19. He was my one of the cellies in there doing life, bro. And he was a good kid. Like, he was a good kid. And his whole shit is like gone now, bro all because of what he's telling me. Yeah, like, you feel me? I smile and all that, but people was like, they would think I wasn't about nothing and I felt like I had to, you know, so that they knew they didn't, they couldn't try me or nothing like that, this, this and that. And I just associated with how every nigga feel like they gotta be tough so bad like you can't smile if you're dealing with a woman you can't be soft you can't show no emotions like nonchalant is a cool shit and the women that get on too they want the nonchalant dude and then they cry about it later like fuck that nonchalant but they want the nonchalant too and they egg it on a lot of this is driven also by women's desires and this it's, it's it's we both play a part i'm not blaming nobody when i say this all i'm saying is, is we both play a part and we gotta realize the part that we playing in each other's lives because this is causing people to step outside of their troops, you feel me? In order to fit or in order to feel accepted, but nobody feels accepted being goofy anymore. You see niggas dancing online. Just yesterday I seen niggas dancing online and the, well, who was it? The, the nigga Tyrese Hunter or Tyree? I don't know, one of the boss ass receivers 
And I just see him, you know, he dancing in, in a fucking onesie and shit. He having fun. Niggas is like, yo, this generations of fun is crazy. Like, you dancing in a onesie with a unicorn. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Is it harming you? This person is happy. This person is expressing themselves. This person is not hurting nobody. But when a nigga is walking around with a strap like this, yeah, yeah, you see me, I got my diamonds on. Da, 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 da. It's cool. We let that be regular. They talk big shit. Let me smack a fucking stack of ones on you. Let me smack a hundred. Look at me. I'm rich, nigga. I'm rich, nigga. Da, 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 da. That's cool. This nigga dancing in a onesie, happy is not cool no more. It can't be cool. I don't get it. Be yourself, bro. And be proud to be yourself. That's the real courage. That's the real gangster. When you look awkward, when you be you and you look awkward and crazy to everybody else and you stand on that while everybody else get to judge you. And I don't give a fuck. Look, and that's gangster.